So today we have a Hyundai i20. The customer's owned this car for a couple of years and has said she's struggling to start the car in the morning. It turns over very slowly. It's a bit sluggish. So she's asked us to check the battery out. So we're gonna start by removing the surface charge. So Dammy, can you switch the lights on for a couple of seconds? Right, this will take off any surface charge on the battery. And then Courage here is going to check the voltage. Just uh, switch the lights off now, Damien. So we needed those on for usually about 30 seconds, half a minute or so. Okay, if you can just test the voltage now then, Courage. Okay, and as you can see, Courage is checking the, the voltage and we currently have 11.83. So it's below our 12 volts. So that's not a good sign and we're already suspecting this battery. Right, what we're gonna do now is crank the engine and in an attempt to start it, and we should monitor this voltage here. If it drops by more than two volts, so i.e. if it drops to below 10 volts on the display, that would also indicate that the health of the battery is not good. So Dami, can you crank it over for us? Okay, stop, and you can see that it dropped down to be way below 10. Crank it over. Okay, stop. Okay, so what we've done here, so that we don't lose the radio codes and so that we, the clock doesn't uh, go wrong, we have plugged in uh, a power supply to the cigarette lighter or the auxiliary feed, and that goes into our battery pack here. So that's called a memory saver and should supply power to the clock and the radio whilst we disconnect the battery. Okay, so we have removed the battery from the car, as you can see, got it on the bench, and overnight we have triple charged it, uh, so it's hopefully fully charged. I've got my voltmeter set up, I'm just going to connect it up, and hopefully you can see we currently have 12.6 volts, so that is now a fully charged battery. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to remove the vent caps from the top of the battery. So I've put some gloves on and I'm going to be using a face shield. So I'll just put the face shield on because inside the battery there is uh, some diluted down acid. Okay. Once we've got our face shield on, we're going to use a, a coin or similar to undo the vent caps. All cells must have fluid to above the, the plates. We're going to use our high rate discharge tester. Now, in here, you can see it's got an analog voltmeter. <clears throat> And actually, if you see inside the grill here, basically what, what you'll see is the leads connect to the battery and the current will flow through the tester and it creates uh, virtually a, a short circuit. I'm 
going to press a button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 